Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Polyspawn. I'm Kim and in today's video, I'll show you how to render vertical videos in Sony Vegas. So let's get to it. So I'm going to start by setting the project properties. If I go file properties, I already have the HD 30 FPS template selected. This is good. We want to start from here. So I'll set the width to 1080 and the height to 1920 because we want it to be tall instead of long. And I'm going to save this custom template as mobile 30 FPS and hit save. And this will just make it easier to use next time. So it'll show up at the bottom of this dropdown and hit apply. Now that I've hit apply, the image preview has now changed to a vertical aspect ratio. So when you drag media into your timeline for the first time, it's going to ask if you want to set your project video settings to match this media. And I'm just going to click no, because otherwise that would change our settings that we just set. So now that it's here, you can see that it's only filling the center of the screen, but we can change that by clicking the little crop icon here. So we want our frame to match what's in the preview. So we'll change the width and height to match. So I'll set the width to 1080. You can see that the height automatically changed. That's because the lock aspect ratio is selected. So we're gonna unlock that. And I'll set the height to 1920. And now the little outline matches. So we can now lock the aspect ratio. And with size about center toggled on, we will scale this down so that it actually fills the screen. And I'll just move this over to a better point of interest in our video. Now, if you have a video that was already shot vertically, you can just set the same project settings, drag your media in and add it to your timeline. Sometimes the video will appear sideways. So if that happens, you would just right mouse button on it and click properties and adjust the rotation angle as needed. Okay, so now you know how you would adjust your media to render out vertically. So let's set the videos start and end on the timeline. And we'll go to the render settings in file, render as, and I'm going to use Magic's AVC HD 30 FPS. If I click customize template, I get all the settings and we're going to adjust this to match our project properties. I'll just rename this because we're going to save it as a custom template. And in frame size, I'll change this to custom frame size and set my width to 1080 and height to 1920. Okay, so I'm just going to leave all the other settings as default as they're fine. Click OK. And you see that there's a vertical 30 FPS template now at the bottom. I'll set my name of the output file and now we can hit render. And that's really all there is to it. Now you'll be able to render out your videos as vertical videos. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to let me know you want more of this sort of content. Have a great day. Bye.